Laura Nickerson giving you the buzz on local news and events. Today I am so excited because I'm at Bay Laurel Elementary hanging out with the super cool fourth graders while they participate in their eco science program. Now this program is put on by the Resource Conservation District of the Santa Monica Mountains and it is really, really fun. So let's check it out and I'll fill you in on the buzz. Tell me a little bit more about your organization. So the Resource Conservation District of the Santa Monica Mountains is a special district where our focus is on conservation through research and restoration, landowner management, and education, education programs like the one we're doing today. This water table is a really great way to show how rain brings all of our waste into our waterways. It just demonstrates how like something so little can make such a big impact. Plus the final result looks like art. In fact, you know, you should sell it at the Calabasas Arts Festival. The Calabasas Fine Arts Festival takes place from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday, May 4th and Sunday, May 5th. Browse works from over 150 painters, jewelers, potters, sculptors, photographers, woodworkers, and so much more. Plus, there'll be fun food and music, a lot more. So come on down. The admission is free and so is the parking. You can visit calabasasartscouncil.com slash Calabasas Fine Arts Festival for info. What do you think we should name this piece of art? The Red River. The Red River. We should sell it for $10 million, right? Correct. So today is an eco-science program. This is our ninth year doing this program in the Las Virginas Unified School District. And it was designed specifically for the school district. It's a water education program. So what we do is we come in and we visit every fourth grader and we show them why it's important to take care of our waterways, why it's important to take care of our creeks and our rivers and our lakes because everything leads to the ocean. It's time people, the ban on plastic straws and single use cutlery is taking place on April 30th. And now food establishments in Calabasas can no longer provide you with plastic utensils or straws and can only provide you with biodegradable ones like this one on request. So get on board people. So what's some really great advice your mother gave you? Um, to never to never be on a phone on the dinner table and always interact with somebody. Very, we're in, we're interacting right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. What about you? Um, best piece of advice is always be kind to others. Aw, that's so nice. Well, I have some really great advice for you about your mother. Always take her somewhere nice for Mother's Day. Take your mom to the Brunch, Bingo, and Belly Laughs event on Saturday, May 11th from 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Clean comic Funny Eddie will host a Mother's Day family event filled with food, bingo games, prizes, crafts, and more. It's only $3 a person, and the event is held at Founders Hall. Call 818-880-6461 or email calabasastac at cityofcalabasas.com to pre-register. Because everyone knows when mom is happy... And in local news, there's been a confirmed case of measles in a person who flew in and out of LAX on April 3rd of this year while infectious. Persons who may have been on site at that date and time might be at risk for developing measles for up to 21 days after being exposed. The LA County Department of Public Health says measles outbreaks are occurring nationally and internationally, and exposures related to travel can occur. This underscores the importance for those who are not immunized against measles to get the measles immunization. This is the fourth non-resident case that the public health has investigated this year traveling through LA County. The local agency Formation Commission for the County of Los Angeles has a vacancy for the alternate public member. LAFCO is a state mandated commission charged with the responsibility to provide the orderly formation and growth of cities and special districts. An application is available at lalafco.org and the deadline is Monday the 10th of June at 5 p.m. If you have questions, contact Alicia O'Brien, LAFCO government analyst at 626-204-6500. That's our local news. This is such a cool program. Why did you decide to bring it into the schools? Actually, it wasn't me. Uh, the Las Virginas School District has brought this program in for multiple years and our hopes to engage students with their local community. And so explain to me how this ties into outdoor ed and what you're doing with the fourth and fifth graders here at the schools. 
So in Las Virginis, we have a 4-5 science team and we travel throughout all the schools and students have a specific time for science. So our fourth grade this week is experiencing eco-science. So they're talking about our Santa Monica watershed, they're talking about our local environment, and in fifth grade they'll actually go to outdoor ed for a week within our community and learn firsthand about the trails and the mountains and the entire ecosystem that we live in. What do you think is important about bringing science into the schools? It's really important for it to be hands-on. So today you're going to see 20 minute rotations and behind you they're playing games and then they're learning about watershed. We also have some microscopes. They're also learning to test water with pH. So hands-on, they're going to remember this experience. By the end of it, they really understand that everything that they do has an impact on the waterways. So every piece of trash that they pick up, every time they recycle, they are making a difference. They realize that even as fourth graders, they are empowered to make change. The Las Virginis Unified Eco-Science Program is a small part of what the Resource Conservation District of the Santa Monica Mountains does. They also deliver programs to over 7,000 students a year, including half-day outdoor education programs at Malibu Lagoon, Topanga State Park, and Sepulveda Basin. Like Eco-Science, their programs allow students to learn science in a hands-on fun way, including using microscopes, binoculars, and other scientific tools. They also offer adult education through a fall training program and volunteer events. They organize cleanups and tree care events to help restore our public lands. If there's a chance to help the public learn about conservation, they're on it. What did you learn today at this program? Um, so I learned that you should always keep your environment healthy and you should always save water and never ever pollute or do anything to um, make our environment dirty. Just always keep it clean and save your water. That is so true. Keep it clean, my friends. Keep it clean. And if you want more information on this great organization, visit rcdsmm.org. I'm Laura Nickerson, and I'll see all of you soon on The Buzz. Bye-bye.